Rich Side K9 Vlog Van Life back on it. Quick little tips, man. I'll tell you where we're at, what we're doing, but check it out. Uh, made a crash at nighttime. Van was prepped, sun visor in. This right here is a solar panel, man. And the purpose of that, let me show you. We made some small adjustments um, to the van, how we're rolling with it. The driver on deck. It's a unique situation when you're used to traveling by yourself and you got an A driver, but it's all good. Um, this is kind of the setup. When we're on the road, we had to make a quick family run to Tennessee, take care of some stuff. And uh, one thing we're doing right now, all the crates are out, but it shows you when the crates are out, how much stuff you can put in. You stop, you see a good deal on stuff. You got so much room in the back of this thing. We keep one of these little, uh, it's like a painter's thing right here. But the purpose of that is that as we're doing that, this guy in his cheap ass Mustang right here behind me trying to show off the fuck cheap ass Mustang, like I give a shit. But anyway, get out of my camera view. He's doing that on purpose. Um, Keep your shoes up here, it keeps them dry, they will not slip off. It's got a little grated thing right there. Underneath, purses in my way. You see my Yeti power station right there. It's running off an inverter, which is right there, which is running off cigarette lighter. So anytime the van turns on, we're charging up the Yeti. And I got another Ryobi fan, another Ryobi battery, Yeti power station, fan rocking and rolling. That's it, man. Get back on the road. America may still be shut down, folks, but Tennessee's not. <laughs> not at all. Uh, we'll show you what we're looking at here, but let me tell you the benefit, man, of having a van life, have to make a real quick trip. One of the benefits is, is that we got down here kind of last minute. Um, it worked out pretty good, and now we're leaving. On the way home, we call one of our favorite rafting spots we've been to many times. They say, yeah, we actually have an opening at 2 o'clock. We're going to drop in there, Hartford, Tennessee, knock out a rafting trip, uh, take a shower, change there, jump back in the van, and roll all the way home. You have anything to say? Never should Normally can't make her stop saying things. Now she's on camera, she has nothing to say. So like I said, <laughs> everywhere might be shut down, man. Gatlinburg is definitely not. We bounced down to here just real quick, um, take a look around, go to a couple of our favorite stores, and we're cutting back up uh, through the mountains back to I-40 right now. But uh, yeah, I'll show you the main strip here in a second. Show you some more in a second, but uh, a lot of people, man, it's back open. It's a good thing, man. Turn this economy back on. Get it rolling, support your small, but every store down here for the most part, outside of some franchise small business, you gotta support them, man. But right now, Gatlinburg Pitching Forge is back open. Downtown Gatlinburg. Busy. Old sky lift, lines already down the road already. Who would like to see? It's good, man. Middle America keeping everything rolling. One thing that's awesome about Gatlinburg, and I've been here hundreds of times at this point, you can people watch all day, and I mean all day long. Good time, cup of coffee, and just people watch. Like the little kid right here, he's got a leash on, see him? Look, wearing a little leash. It's crazy. You got Jeep tour, Jeep rentals, you got side-by-side -side rentals rocking, you know those businesses are happy, people are back, man. It's crazy, business shuts down, but it's back, it's rocking. People are out, man, spending money, buying stuff, buying food. But with that being said, I gotta get the hell out of this area because it's way too crowded right now. Making me feel way too weird. All right, so we're rolling on the highway. She's driving, thank God. I'll show you this right here. This is never ending, man. But never complain about being busy. It's a great thing. Embrace the blessings and keep it on the road. Were you about to say something? I'm kind of like your blessing. Interstate cut throughs. From one road to the next. 500 feet, turn left onto Lindsay Gap Road. Take the next left onto Lindsay Gap Road. Yeah, this looks natural. Middle Tennessee. Now turn left. Front porch hanging. What's up? Continue on Lindsay Gap Road for three miles. One thing you learn about driving through middle America, man, is you can always see is that people in the cities do lose touch with these areas, and probably these areas lose touch with the cities, but you got so much confusion from politics. And I assure you that people in D.C. making laws, passing regulations, legislators, all these they have no idea about this part of America. They just don't. They just can't. I mean, it's, it's just... Anyway. 
would say if you've never driven through uh, Middle Tennessee and or like parts of West Virginia, um, it's crazy, man. It's, it's, it's absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful. Hard working people, not taking nothing. Beautiful little groves like this. Love it. Nice one. Got the neighborhood mechanic right there for sure. He probably don't follow no manuals, but he can probably make a start. What's up, mama? Out there in the garden, front porch sitting all day. Now, where would you feel safer? Driving through this road right here or in a downtown city somewhere? I know where I'd feel safer at, but. <laughs> now, while this brings me back to my childhood memories, stand by. All right, guys, we're right outside of Rafton for the Smokies. Guys, place it right off of I-40. It's an awesome spot. You can literally just show up, jump on a raft, whitewater raft for a couple hours and jump right back on the highway. But our appointment, they couldn't get us in until two. We got here about an hour and a half early. So again, man, the van life hacks, right? Whoa, about to fall over. That van, that fan is running. It's plugged into, whoa, hold up. Hold up. Stand by. Sorry, there was a wasp. Still in here, stand by. The wasp is no more. Anyway, the fan is running. It's plugged into the Yeti. Um, we got the portable fan running on the battery. I'm in here doing emails. She's outside supervising, I guess you could say. Not doing emails or anything. Anyway, I'll stay in the shade, cool fan. Bang out some emails on my bench right there. Gotta love van life. And this is the real reality, man, of small business and van life. Um, we're waiting for our tour. So in that time, quick, turn the Wi-Fi on, jump back on emails. Again, it's a couple places to be, man. Fans rolling, that fan's rolling. Everything stays charged up, get the sun block up. It's hot outside. It's like, what is it, 90, 90 almost? It's 90 and humid, but you're in the shade, fans rolling, getting work done. It's a good place to be. All right, guys, got to be a little bit quiet because we are in Hartford. So we're at a little cafe right on the river. And um, last stop, get back on I-40 and start heading back home. But uh, we got really good barbecue right here, really good sandwiches. I actually even have pretty good coffee. And uh, yeah, cool little stop in Hartford. Nice place to come visit. Get back on the highway here in just a minute. Chill spot to drink a cup of coffee, grab a beer, get some food. Our food is taking forever, but that's okay. Goodbye, Hartford. Homebound. Now turn left. Well, that was Hartford. You saw it. It's over. <laughs> I-40 Interstate Town. Back on I-40, heading west to 81, 81 heading north, back to Virginia.